Keep your distance, though, Chewie. But don't look like you're trying to keep your distance. I don't know. Fly casual. Welcome back, everyone, to another bat rep, a fly casual bat rep, uh, Ballarat. Uh, yeah, third and final one for the night when I was up there. Uh, we got uh, Josh versus Blake. And uh, Dash and Kyron making yet another appearance on the board. Uh, yeah, it's all three have had Dash in them, haven't they? Yes. <laughs> Shows how popular Dash is. Definitely. But, uh, yeah, well, we don't need to go through Blake again, but this time we've got Josh there flying his um, yeah favourite stress list there. Mm. Yep. Three blues, a tactician. And an ion cannon with um, A3, A2 on the gold there. Mm. He took, so, um, took it to a store championship and did well with this Yeah, one. he did well. He um, yeah, he came second in that one, in that store champs, actually, with this list. Uh, so he did really well with that. It, uh, yeah, it's, I think this is also a list that's proving popular in a lot of other places, too, where everyone else seems to be uh, enjoying using it as well. It's... Uh, yeah, the trouble is though, I just, I just don't like using B-Wings myself. I would like to do it with just four, oh, yeah, I like flying just Gold Squadron or Y-Wings. Yes, uh, we know yeah. that you love for the yeah, Y-Wings. I love my Y-Wings, but because every time I take B-Wings for some reason, they just die so quick. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go now, we moving straight into, straight into the first round of combat. We've got um, Dash there in range one of the B-Wings. Oh, sorry, range three. So we're going for range three, that one there through the rock on the angle. So he's using target lock there, and focus for three hits with his heavy laser cannon into the B wing. Two eyeballs. Oh, and did he? What about? Oh, that B wing did a barrel roll. That's right. Man, the focus would have been nice, wouldn't it? Definitely. The focus would have been real nice. Oh, that's two shields on number two there. A lot of hole in shields, but just not a lot of eyes. 
Anyway, that big one's going to shoot back down into um, Dash. And let's check in to see if it's in Ark and Asteroids and all the other fun stuff. I think it's definitely through the rock. Just a matter of when in the Ark is still in range. Mm. That is very close, isn't it? Very close. I think that's... Oh, here we go. They're coming from behind now. They're really trying to get that line. Okay. Gotta love lasers. Just makes everything professional. Oh, it does. FFG should release like a laser. <laughs> the X-Wing laser. No, I reckon FFG should release like an official laser. Everyone uses them in tournaments. FFG should just do an official one. Oh, there we go. They've decided that it's uh, not in range there. Ooh. And a speeder bike just passed yeah, by. Yeah, another bike just went past the shop. <laughs> there you go. So, doing there. Range 3. Just two hits. Two hits. And two of aids. Yep, Wildwing's right out of range there. The chicken, the other B Wing, right out of range. So, moving on to the next round. Okay, so B Wing there, just moving, checking to see if you can target lock Corrin. Taking a focus instead. And another uh, other B Wing up the back there, just doing one forwards. And more than likely going to attempt to target lock, I'd say. Mm. Oh, no, Bow. Oh, no, Bow. Wow. That's going to put him. Oh, no, the B Wing's got the one sharp red, haven't they? Yes. But that's. I think he's. Aim is to try and get after Corrin there, I'd say. Mm. He's barrel rolling like that. Or maybe he wants the protection of the uh, asteroid. Probably, yeah, but that B Wing's pretty healthy. I think that was B Wing number three, and I think it's pretty healthy. That's an interesting move, that. I have to ask but, uh, Josh on that one. I'll ask him next time. We'll watch it soon. He'll probably leave a comment telling you why he did it. <laughs> Yeah, so Josh, well, like many times, whenever you watch a game which you play, you watch back and you think, why did I do that again? Definitely. Oh. <laughs> so Josh, if you are watching, comment below, thanks. Comment below, thanks, mate. There you go, Dash moving in now. There's a stress from Push okay. the Limit he used earlier. Gets another focus from Kyle. And he's going to push the limit again for more actions. I don't know if a boost or barrel roll would help him. Mm. Not if you want to try and get away from that um, ion cannon from the wilding there. If you barrel roll backwards a bit, mm. that wilding won't be shooting, but um, I think the bees will. Mm. No, no. Barrel rolling towards the wilding. Hmm. That's interesting, right? Interesting. Is that range one of the wilding? I believe so, but I think maybe he's trying to get out of asteroid again. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Blake, if you are watching this game, please smoke on below. Yes, tell us what you were doing. Oh, there we go. I think he was hoping to get past it, maybe, but... Actually, it's probably not so bad, because it sets up for next round. Plus, the uh, B-Wing's out of arc. Yeah, B-Wing can't shoot him now, so he's only really got it... one ship shooting at him. Which is the, uh, the Y-Wing. So the Y-Wing... Well, if it was me with the Y-Wing, I'd probably just go primary there, try and get as much damage on as you can. Definitely, because uh, ionising won't help anything there. Yeah, but it might help later, though, actually. Help later, definitely, it, You yeah. get it one on down, wait for the opportune time. So, free bank from Corrin there. Just deciding what you should do here now. What would you do? Well, he's going to target lock. I'd always focus. That, that's just me. Mm. <laughs> hey, and I think I've stuffed up Corrin again over on the side there. He's supposed to have VI, not uh, push the limit. I brought my old editing back, uh, my bad editing from uh, the last round oh, in this well. game. <laughs> so here we go now, and Corrin now, shooting into that damage B-Wing B there, range 2.
and one oh, hit. Oh, one hit. So well, target, oh, no, no hits. It's a focus. Hits, target, and lock. target lock. And, yeah, two hits. Two hits. So, one of those, just one shield on number two there. Mm, not a good return. But not a good return from Karim, but that's good for the B-Wings. Definitely. I'll back the B-Wings just because it's got a good quarter while I'm with them. <laughs> I'm, I'm back in Josh. Also, you know, I'm, I'm tired of looking at Dash's ugly face. <laughs> <laughs> so, here we go now. We're just deciding with a heavy laser cannon who to shoot at. I wonder if he could hit the B wing. Yes, sir. Number two. Yeah, he number can. two B wing. Yeah, yeah, he's going in number two. Yeah, that's a good choice because. It... Yeah, so it's through a rock, so he gets an extra defense. So that, so four... B, -wing, that B wing might just live here. Yeah. Four good hits, kill him. Four good hits. Let's get a couple just of Three hits and a focus, though. So just one of eight, one focus. So. So, yeah, no, just, um, yeah, loses two hull. That's all right. Is that only three? How do you only lose two hull? No, it must have only been three hits. It was three hits, I think. It was it was. three hits. Yeah, three hits. So that was nice. So there we go, range two now from the other B-Wing into Corrin there. The B-Wing's going to open up now, and this is where this is where a tactician works well, and Corrin's probably going to suffer from pain here. Definitely. So either way, if, so if the tact two hits. tactician comes in. And two evades. And there's a stress from tactician. Other B-Wing now, range two as well. Sending his target lock there. Another stress. Get. Another stress, and uh, is that two hits? Evade, evade. evade. So uh, no damage. So Colm doing well of evading, but he's... Yeah, he's doing well of evading, he's just not getting those hits there. Now, would you double tap? Well, I was just checking the other B-Wing, they've still got the Y-Wing to shoot first. Yeah. Oh, definitely. So Y-Wing now, range 1, he's saying. So it says just going primary. But would you double tap to clear out one of the B-Wings for this round? Mm. There we go, he's... Josh undecisive here, whether to go for Ion or to go for uh, damage. I think he's going for hits, he's going for primary. Yeah, why wouldn't you? Especially range one. Oh, free, yeah. Free attack dice. Well, so, hit. I saw a hit. Only two, two hits. hits. You can hit and crit. Oh, no, it was iron cannon shot. So, yeah, he's got an iron cannon, one shield. On dash. So, it's good to have that iron in the bank there for later. Definitely. Yeah. So here we go, 2k with one of those B-wings there, stressing him up. So he didn't take the double tap, Cora? No. Interesting move there by uh, Blake. Well, it might not be a good idea because it uh, depends on where Cora moves next. Well, actually, he could have taken out that blue, actually, couldn't he, if he had a double tap? Definitely, definitely. Yeah, I didn't I didn't see that myself. And I don't think Cora will be able to shoot this round. May or maybe he will be able to shoot the, the top B-wing. Yeah. But maybe it would have been a better one to shoot that one off. What have we got? Oh, this B-wing, I don't think, cares about that rock. I think they're trying What's to What's he walk? doing? 2k through the rock. Wow. Wow, he does not care about that rock. And he's going back through that rock next turn. Then you'll probably keep a stress because the one won't clear him. And a hit. Takes a shield. Oh, that's not good. That's so not bad. Shield on number one there. It's got shield to burn. Then <laughs> again, it looks like oh, that B wing's going to be able to shoot at current, so I suppose it wasn't such a bad idea. No. Anyway. So I don't know what the gold did there. I didn't see its move. Just to one falls and bumped it. Must have been bumped, definitely. Must have been bumped. So one soft ring, clear stress, getting the focus from Kyle there. Now is he going to boost? Yeah, he's going to boost as well. I don't think he's going to boost. This is the trouble, he's still in range that... 
I'd probably actually I'd probably boost because you know if you get a second eye on you that might put you no nah, actually a second eye on him no you wouldn't it, put him off the board would, yeah it would survive it's still too far away but it'd be very tricky for next round oh here we go here we go barrel Ooh. rolling barrel roll oh that's, he, that's he, be he better boost otherwise he's going to uh, he, he would be off the board if you got an eye on him and there we go yeah, there's the boost pushing for the boost yep that. He's range three on the wilding now, so I don't think the wilding can shoot him. So that was probably a that was a really good move. That's actually. interesting. I'm, I'm wondering if it is range three. I think it is. It doesn't look like range. I'm not quite I sure. I think it's close enough to be range two. We'll find out soon. Yeah. Corin, what is he doing? So Corin's one, one forward. forward. Yeah, just bumps that B wing. So he's got one B wing shooting at him. Range one. Clears one stress though. Now it's probably good that um, Corrin's got fire control system on him with all these uh, stressy B wings. Mm. There we go. So he can't shoot that B wing at range one there. So he's just deciding on who to target, whether or not to target that Y wing if possible. He's Range three on the wiring, range two on that B wing. That's in parked in front of the asteroid there. At least no one can give him tactician. Sorry. No one can give him tactician though. Yeah. That's a good. That's thing. a good thing. He can't get another stress. He's still got one on him, so still, he doesn't yes. have green. But Blake just commenting how the Y wing is the one that really sucks to him the most, which is kind of true. They just love the way everyone picks on wildlings in lists. Mm. Stick a wildling in a list, it's almost as good as flying bigs. <laughs> so it's just one hit on that wildling. <laughs> and pretty much, yeah, that was just a vacant. Wildlings are vacant, who'd have thought? Wow. <laughs> you don't see that too often. No. So here we go down. Dash with his HRC going into the wildling. Oh, is that range two? I believe so. Yeah, this so he's focusing and four hits, is it? Is that one of eight? Mine of eight. One focus. No, that was all four went through. Four hits. Oh. Ouch. Ouch. Come on, Y Wing. So here we go now. We've got range one of that B Wing to Corrin there. Ouch, time. Yep. There we go. Got a target lock. Only one hit. It's from target lock. Two hits. Two hits. Oh, there's all that dice and only two hits. Uh. So, yeah, 12, that's all he's now, I suppose. Two went through on Corrin. Two of his shields down, so that's nice. He can capitalise on that on next turn, mate. Hmm. So, not bad, though. At least no one else can shoot at Corrin and you can get rid of that stress next hmm. turn. So, Corrin's come out well, pretty well, then, that bump. Here we go now, we're just checking this feeling here, three range 3 through an asteroid. So 3 versus 3. 4. 3 versus 4. Yeah, that's a lot, that's a lot of green guys. <laughs> two hits and... Nothing. Nothing. Wow, two hits. Oh. Well, someone in the store just sneezed very loudly. That just went through our headphones really loud. I'll have to edit that out. Yeah, so... Yeah, we're starting to get some shields off dash there. Wowing now, shooting back at range two. I, I didn't think that was range two, but shooting the ion, that's going to put. Is. Um, oh, he's got a target lock on him. Oh, that's not his target lock. <laughs> One of eight. Oh, you only need two hits and got an ion, and that's always needed. Ooh. Um, and Dash has got a uh, stress on him too, so he's not going to lose that stress. So oh, damn. He's only going to move one forward and he's going to be stuck there. So these B-Wings, if these B-Wings can come in now. And now... Uh, oh, here we go. Double tap double the Corrin now. Going into that Wiley. Here we go. He's going to try and bring that Wiley off. I don't think he will. Or could he? No, he's re-rolling three, so probably not. Oh, only one hit. Come on, Wiley. Dodge it. Dodged it. Wow. Wow. Way to go, Wyoming. Mm. That's a very elusive Wyoming, that one. Yeah. Again, long time to probably use double tap for Corrin there. Yeah, probably not a good time, is it, actually? No. 
Because uh, next round, he could have a few bees shooting at him and he might not be able to shoot back himself. Mm. But um, that Y-Wing is getting close to the port edge. Very oh, close. Oh, no, no, he's alright, actually. He's on the right angle. Too. If you look at the way the ship's pointing and the way the base is pointing, the yeah. base, uh, two sharps flying. He'll, he'll be right. Just a very crooked Y-Wing. Yeah, there we go. That B-Wing no threw the asteroid again, not taking a damage this time. <laughs> but still stressed. There you go, the other B-Wing now. One straight, clearance, one soft, sorry, clearance stress. You might notice that building tends to rotate on its, on its base there a little bit. Focus there. Focus. And what is that? I bet that one's doing a 2k. Why would you? Oh! Yeah, 2k. Wow. That wasn't predictable at all, was it? No. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so I don't think um, I don't think anyone's going to shoot Corrin here though. But I don't think Corrin will have a shot either. No. Well, he might have, oh well, he can't shoot because he's done done his double tap. Double tap. So, yeah. yeah. He can't shoot. So. So Dash doing his one straight due yep. to the iron. Due to the iron effect. Still stressed. White maneuver. So Keeps the stress. And he's in. Yep. Nothing worse than being high under all stress. So, in perfect range two of one of the beams so, there. So, what are we doing with Karin now? Does a green move, gets his shield back. Yeah, too soft. Bump. Ooh, That's going to be a bump into the corner of that B-Wing there, I think. Ouch. Yep. Yeah. Hey, um, that B-Wing is shooting at in range one now, too. Yes. Wow, if that's perfect dice, mate, that's game. Perfect dice here from these B wings, mate. That would be game. That's um, wow. Because you got what? Two B wings shooting into um, Dash there, and mm. one range one in the current. So let's see what Dash can do. If Dash can kill B wing number two there, who only has two hole left, then um, then he'll survive. But otherwise, so that's range two on that bear wing there, so definitely will get tactician on this round, Dash. Yep, so it's another stress, so he's not going to get actions next turn either. Mmm. Mmm. You know, this isn't actually looking good for Blake, is it? Unless if he gets rid of that B wing, but I doubt it. That's number one B wing, I presume, at the top. Mm. Here we go, he's going to HRC number two, the one that oh, only has two hit points left, and why wouldn't you? Definitely. You want to get rid of the that. The funny thing is, it's also the only one with the focus token. <laughs> One hit. That won't kill it. Depends <laughs> his focus and evades it. <laughs> oh. A Blake, Blake applauding him there. <laughs> Unbelievable. A B wing evading. Oh, that's just nuts. That is just nuts. There we go. B wing down. Heavy laser cannon. Range 2. That's uh, B wing number 1 shooting. There we go, they're already getting the stress because they know it, he knows it's coming. Mm. What have we got? Only one hit. Only one hit. Evades. yep. There we go, other B wing now, number two, range three, returning fire. Just one hit. One hit? One crit, I think it was. Evades. Evades. So, Dash getting out of there with. Yeah, Dash is getting through this pretty unscathed, actually. It's just the uh, tactician that's going to be annoying for him. There we go, two hits two into hits. Corrin now. Is that Blanks? Blanks. Shields wow, on. shields down. On wow. Oh, if he could, if he could get, if he only could get follow-up shots on Corrin. Oh, that would have been great. Mm. And unfortunately, Wyman couldn't shoot that round out of range. Ah. So I don't think Dash is going to move very far ahead, though. He doesn't have a lot of green moves, and he's got to clear that stress. Definitely. Yep. You know, this is why I don't like push the limit. Because when you start building up those stress tokens... It's hard to get it's off. It's hard. I, I always take Predator for that reason. And you hear people talk about how, you know, the, it's the stress meta is, is going to eventually replace the Fat Han Phantom meta. Some have said, I don't know if it's true or not, but... Yeah, that's why I don't think you're going to see Push the Limit used that much if, uh, if that's the case. So those B-Wings are closing in. On Dash. So in perfect so killing. 
Yeah, that's a perfect killing field there. It's um. You know, I'd love to see you. If he does like a one forward, that wild wing's got like range three. Those three B wings shoot and they can't kill him down, but then the wild wing just lands all crits or something. <laughs> but come on, wild wings. Oh, there we go. Look at that. That's one low. That's going to be three B wings shooting at him, mate. This is not looking good for Dash. No. Oh, there we go. In target locking. Yep. So, two forwards there. So that's he's still stressed too, so he can't he can't arc dodge or boost or anything. So that's three B wings now. But it does remove a stress. It removes a stress, but you know, look, we got range two with some B wings there, so I I don't think Dash will survive this. That's the thing. The thing is, Dash has to be in range two to shoot. Range he one, he can avoid the tactician, but he can't shoot. It's up to Corin here to get rid of some B wings here. Corrin does have to come in here and start doing some work. Yeah, he has to mop he up. hasn't really done. He hasn't done any work, has no. he? Like he got some damage on one of the B wings, but no. So he's on range one on that B wing there, so he needs to clear him out. So just deciding Corrin's actions now. I'm focusing there. Focus. Yep. Good move. Because I think he's still got target locks on that Y wing, hasn't he, from flight control system from earlier? Yes. One that Josh tried to spend to re-roll his dice. Mm. <laughs> oh, there we go. He's going after the Wily. Wow. Wow. I would have tried to go after a B. Oh, actually. Well, B wing number one. He he won't be able to knock B wing number one off the table before he shoots a crime. So but he could knock off the Wily. Uh, Focus for three hits. Three hits and dodges, dodges one. one. Two hits. Takes two. Nasty. If he double taps here oh, now, that was a crit. The um, was that? Do you not know, perform actions in his action bar? Yes, actions in his action bar. Ouch. So that's a uh, damage sensor array. Oh, oh, yeah. We got the cards up now, mate. So we can read it. Damage sensor array. There we that's go. That right. was the crit. Oh, here we go. Why wing now? No, nah, out, out, of, out of range, so range two on with number one B-wing there. Oh no, sorry, this is, um, wait, using dash into that number one B-wing. Focusing, or three, two shields on number one. Nah, that's not really affecting that B-wing. No. Not because in fact that B-wing's probably going to do more damage to dash right now. <laughs> There we go, another so stress, Corrin, range two. Corrin could have done from number one. damage there onto that beam. He could have. Wow, three hits. Three hits. Perfect, three all hits. through. Ouch. So that's three down. Um, so this beam wing could finish off. There we go, range one now with that thump beam with a target lock. That's beam wing number two there, which he's failed to bring down. No, no he, should say, should what, he should have focused there, only got one hit. Two hits. Oh, two hits. One yep, hole. two hits through. One hole. Oh, yep, here we go. And the final B wing now. Final B wing. This is Range on. three. This B wing's also got a target lock. See, that double tap is coming to haunt now, Blake. Oh, there we go, three. He needs three a perfect hits. roll. Needs a perfect roll to evade this. I don't think he'll get it. No. Really? No. Nah, dead. Yay, Dash died. <laughs> <laughs> so Dash is gone. That should be nice, I suppose. That's actually, you know, we've seen three dashes, but we've only one game he'd slid, two games he died, actually. So, so the, the double tap coming in now from Corrin onto that Y wing. There we go, Corrin is going to use his double tap onto the Y wing. And someone sneezing again. <laughs> Three, I think that was blank using target lock. Nothing but focuses. Wow. Oh god. Nothing but focus. Nothing worse when you use target lock and you get focuses. Oh, it hurts, doesn't it? It just hurts. Here we go now. I reckon they're all 
Well, two of them doing 2k. I think that one on the end, I think number three is probably only going to do a one sharp, maybe, or a one soft. 2k, yeah. But yep, 2k. Wiley's probably just going to do a two sharp, maybe. I think I think this could this could be game here, actually. Definitely. Because Oh, yeah, Karn can't shoot this round either, because no. he did his double tap. So. That's correct. You know what? I reckon he's going to run away with Karn. I reckon he'll probably do a three sharp towards the top of the board and try and get out of arc of those ships and then maybe do a barrel roll to get away or something. Maybe, maybe take an evade to try and live longer. It's probably what I'd do. I'd probably almost run away. You're not going to shoot this round, so... Mm. Run away! Here we go. Spending an action to fix damage sensor array, and I think he did, so... Yep, yep. Cleared the crit. Let's do an action. So here we go. Karin, what are you doing? You're running away, mate? Or are you going to stay in the fight? Running away. Doing a two sharp. Is that green? I believe so. No, I don't think it was. I think that's only one, two soft is green for not two sharp, so we didn't get a shield back. Ah. Hmm. So, is he staying there? Just taking the evade, is he? I think he did. I think he just stayed there for the evade. Wow. Oh, this could be, um... This could be game. This could be. Is that hitting the crit? Hitting the crit. Hitting the crit. What we got? Right. Evade, evade. Right. Yep, he lives. Here you go. Here comes, here comes all these great, great green dice now, I bet. He's going to roll roll like a champ. <laughs> he needs them now, definitely, if he wants to yeah. stay in the game. So, taking us... Oh, there we go. Range 2 from uh, number 1 B-Wing there. Ouch. That's what we got. Two hits. Two hits. Spends, oh no, he took a focus token, so he just spent all that. Oh no, he took one shield. Took one shield for that. Evaded, uh, he wasn't a bait token, just evaded one hit. So we go. One crit from that third B wing. Dodge. Yep. And now I'm wiring with the iron cannon. Oh, blanks. Wow. <laughs> Oh no, if he had have had an iron and a stress on that, that would have been game, but you know what, corin has got the chance now to get his shield back and possibly come back around into the fight, but it's not looking good with, four, with three B-Wings chasing him down. No, no, it, it's Mountain Impossible here for um, Corrin Horan here. Yeah, it's... Um, he needs to it's run just amazing that. that with his double tap he couldn't get that wiring off, you know? Mm, he needed to get off a ship. Yeah. Yeah, I think his the perfect time was when that he had the chance to get rid of that uh, number two B when with the double tap it did not. Yeah, probably it might have even kept could have kept I think it could have kept Dash alive too, couldn't it? Probably. Oh no, I don't think it would have. I don't think it would have made a difference. Don't know, but I I'd say it might have. Yeah. But yeah. He had to get rid of a ship. Probably two would have been the best to have a chance, but Against all four, mm. it's not looking good for Blake. You know, I might have to give this list a try myself, actually. Looks like a bit of a fun list. Giving out all that yummy, yummy stress. Mm, I don't like stress. <laughs> so should my interceptors. Well, you like felt stress. Yes, but I, I like... Do you imagine that three tacticians shooting in range two? That's three focus tokens he gets. <laughs> Every time. True. But then you wouldn't get another one after that. No. That's it. <laughs> you need to send a bunch of blacks with, um, what is it, wing, um, wing is it wingman? Yes. It takes one stress? Yeah. So blacks are obsidian scrubs that get the APT and the TIE Fighters. Not quite sure. I can't remember. Have to double check on that one. Yeah, just by Suntia Fell, we've just all those guys and they can just keep taking all the stress from them. <laughs> Takers. I like the sound of that. Yep, so here we go now. Tuning into Corrin. Yeah, so here we go. First B wing there. Section the one hit and one of A. Black Squadron pilots. Black Squadron, okay. I've got EP10. Pilots with four, yeah. Yep. 
Okay, B wing number two now, I think this one is. Range, range three, you only got one hit, spend a tug on. Is that two hits? Two hits. One of eight, one of eight, one of eight so one shield. All those green dice just could not help him. Again, the shield goes down, yep. back to two half. There we go, so other B wing down the back there, I think he has range three. Range that's three, can he finish three. it off? Not with one hit. Target lock, one hit. One hit. Jeez, Josh, what's going on with your dice? One of eight. Oh. Come on, Wildwing. Let's see this Iron Cannon finish him off. Eye on them. That won't kill him, but if we can eye on him. What have we got? Focus. There we go. Three hits. Let's see if we get an eye on him. This is going to be an iron, I think. Yep. One damage, one eye on. Yep. There we go. I think this is yep. I think this is this has got to be game now. This has got to be game because you know he's got all that stress on him. He he's, he's not going anywhere. To do only a white maneuver, so he can't recover shields of R two. Yep. <laughs> but you know what? This is where all the green dice are just gonna keep rolling. Evade, evade, evade. Probably, and the red will go bad. Yep. There we go, B-Wing's there moving up. I don't think that B-Wing will have to worry about going through the Asteroid next turn. There might not be a next turn, but he's going to no. barrel roll anyway. Try to get into range. Better range into that B-Wing, yeah. but I, I doubt that. You know, I hope that he shoots that Wildwing first, just get the Iron Cannon kind of tunneling into him. Oh, he might be out of range, actually. Yeah. I just like to see the Wildwing finish him off with the Iron Cannon. Yes, <laughs> it would just be awesome. Your love obsession with Wildwing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, we all saw in Return of the Jedi how great it was when the Wildwing destroyed two Interceptors. Wasn't that nice, Mars? No, it's nice. Wildwing just boom, 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 boom. I, killed two Interceptors, I think George one Luke, after the other. I think George Lucas was a bit drunk at that time. No, he, ne he never played this game to see the comparisons between Wildwings and Interceptors? No. So... There we go, stuck there now. Alright, come on, let's see if you can evade this. Is he, was he stressed? Yeah, he was stressed. I think he's got a couple of stress tokens on him. So, no, still there. Here we go, we're just actually. measuring the Y wing. He's going to try the Y wing first. Wow, <laughs> just a rub. Yep, just come on, let's see in. the Y wing do this. So, here we go, what have we got? Yep, there we go, we are, we're going for the iron cannon. Yep, Blake, Josh wants to finish Blake off the iron cannon. Oh, three hits. Look at that. Three hits. Come on. Wow. Yep. Three hits. Let's let's see this happen. Come on. Perfect greens. Here we go. Come on. You need perfect roll now. And wow. all focuses. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Ion off the board. Oh, done. Wow. <laughs> oh, well done to Josh there. It's, um, yeah, taking out uh, another Corrin and Dash build. So it's always good. I love it. And again, flying Y wings. Yay. Very good to see. Uh, anyway guys, thanks for watching, I uh, hope you enjoy these games and uh, yeah, we'll get some more up soon. Like, subscribe and fly casual.